We are a country that uh, doesn't do a lot of medical innovation in-house. So what we wanted to do is to try to change that, putting together med medical uh, doctors and uh, engineers and entrepreneurs and people in, in, in science, so they can start, you know, taking the approach of the multidisciplinary problem in the, in the medical field and come up with technologies and ideas that can be applied here in Ecuador. I was being executive you know, what people is going to how the people is going to react. I thinking that was the beginning I was a bit scared of what people is going to ask and what people is going to propose. But now that I see how the event is going on, I'm, I'm very positive. It's very pleased of the results of what people is proposing. I see a lot of collaboration we start building and I see a lot of ideas, clever, very, very clever ideas and simple ideas that look that have uh, promising, that are very promising. These teams have come up uh, with very, very clever ideas. Some of them are things that I wouldn't have even thought about. And, and it's really, really uh, interesting how these different people with different backgrounds come up and they are working together to get first defining the idea, you know, looking into the real problem they're trying to solve and then uh, working out solutions. Well, my expectations were to be able to meet different people that were interested in the medical field here in Ecuador. And obviously we have people in engineering, medicine, public health, including scientists and administrators. So it's interesting to see how all of them have a different insight into what the problem is and what the solution can be. So the collaboration and see this matching of information and also um, understanding of a problem. Yeah, the, the, the contribution has been huge. I mean, obviously, MIT Hacking Medicine is, uh, if I can say, a world leader in terms of medical innovation. So for these uh, participants to have MIT Hacking Medicine leading the team is like a very big boost. They can reach and feel and interact with people from MIT Hacking Medicine and I think that that's, that's a huge motivation for them so it's, it's, really, it's really a big big deal for them to, to be part of this uh, project. Well, the problem that I'm trying to tackle is the lack of comfort with prosthetics and how they're not tailored for each person. They're usually work, working with only generic sizes but we want to fix that. Uh, I see now that uh, there are ideas and solutions that can come from different parts. So mixing the hand, the, the, bringing the people together, I think is the best. The, the doctors, uh, you know, they they have a clear understanding of their problem. Sometimes um, they they understand the medical problem, but they don't understand the technology to do to solve the, the, this. And bringing up them together. Uh, has bring up a lot of innovation. Impressive. The progress of the teams is truly impressive. They have come from nothing into to several ideas that can come into real solutions. I feel very inspired by all the people that are here. Nosotros proponemos realizar un guante que logre transformar el código morse a un lenguaje común. Sometimes, like engineers or like scientists, we don't see far away. We don't have we don't have a very broad vision of what is happening there. Uh, the problems are there, and I think uh, sometimes we need problems. Engineers need problems to work in law, and engineer and doctors needs people to the solutions. I think bringing people together is, is quite a good idea. Uh, the problems that they have been tackling are really big. The solutions are really smart very um, uh, cost effective right every in every iteration they come up with better ideas and that's what we wanted I mean we know that these guys are super smart we just have to mentor them we just have to lead them in the right direction and I think that they are going to surprise us at the end of the day